Good morning. It is pie making day here in good old Saskatchewan. We have what we call a rhubarb. And this is what a stalk of rhubarb looks like. And you chop it up into nice little pieces. And you can make anything from, oh, they make the best rhubarb cakes, rhubarb muffins. Uh, today I'm making, a, it's called a rhubarb custard pie. It's an old family recipe. Handed down. So I'm going to do some rhubarb custard pies. I'm going to show you how I roll out the dough. Now I whipped up a batch this morning, tender flake, and five cups of flour, salt, a little bit of baking powder. Uh, if you buy my cookbook, Baking and Bake, the recipe is in there, just so you know. Anyway, I've learned and I'm making these to uh, basically give away. A friend asked me if I would make them some, so I said, sure. So I'm using the disposable eight inch pie plates today. I prefer using glass or my Teflon coated heavier pans, but to give away, they're getting the freebies. So I have pre-measured my dough because I need about um, 200 grams. And I weigh it out rather than wasting it because once you roll it, it's not the same. And I'm gonna point my camera down. You're gonna lose vision of me, but you're gonna see what I'm doing with my hands, which is more important than looking at me, just so you know, just a minute. Okay, so I've lightly floured the surface. Point that, I hope. There we go. And so you can see flour trickling down there. And I squish it a little wee bit with my hand and start making a circle. That's the first step. And you want well, a fair amount of flour when you're doing this. Because pastry is, as a rule, on the stickier side. So you can start rolling this and it does take practice i'm going to tell you that to make a circle and i like to lift it fairly soon into the rolling because i don't want it sticking to my countertop which is granite and granite is great for rolling out pastry and other such doughs if you're making cinnamon buns so I'm starting to get my circle and it's sticking a little wee bit. So I'm just simply going to sprinkle with the flour again. And you don't need much. It's very minimal. I'm trying to keep my edges together. And very talented people will roll this dough back up onto their rolling pin. But... I haven't done it very often. I wasn't trained that way, so I'm not real successful at it. So I'm going to do it the old fashioned way, the way I was taught, with my fingers. So if you want to check for size, you want it at least the, you need it bigger than your pie plate because you got to remember this is, there's depth inside there. So now I'm just going to push that back. And you don't want your crust too thick. Like mine is quite thin, which I prefer. I don't like a really thick crust, like I say, and I'm just going to simply flip this like that. And then I'm going to tuck. Pastry shrinks, so make sure you tuck it in there that you've got extra pastry inside the pan because it is going to shrink as it bakes. That's just what pastry does. So now it's inside like that, like so. Grab a knife. I'm going to trim off the excess and I just go around the underside of it like so. Oops, and I had weighed out 208 grams. And I'm going to bet that I have at least 20, if not 25, of unused pastry here. Okay. So that, folks, is the crust. I'm going to weigh this out. I have my handy-dandy scale next to me. Yep, 34. So next, then, I like to, I'm just going to use my fingers, my thumbprint for a little design in it, and I just go right alongside of it and just punch the dough down. Pastry, I should call it. I always call it dough, but it's actually pastry. With a thumbprint, just to make a little edging on my pie plate. And then as an extra precaution, because the pastry sometimes will, oh, puff. It'll puff out of your plate. So 
to prevent that, I just put some fork holes all the way around it. And this prevents the pastry from puffing up while it's baking. Okay, so that's the made pre-made crust now, and we are gonna just set that aside for a minute. This is the custard mix, and it is done with, there's egg in there, milk, sugar, and vanilla. So I'm just gonna, I've pre-made this, of course. That's ready. Set that aside. Now we're gonna add the rhubarb. And for this size of a pie, I'm gonna use a cup and a half, which I've cut and measured out. And I'm just gonna mix this all together, make sure the rhubarb is all coated. Okay, and then I'll grab my pie, plate with the dough pastry in it, and just pour all that in there. And I don't like to waste any of this good custard, so I try and scrape it out as best I can. Now this is a very full pie today. I'm just gonna show you guys it. Oh, where's the best? There you go. So it's very full. So while it's baking, I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and I'm going to, I've got a couple here. I'm going to slide it under the pie plate while it's cooking in the oven. So if there's any bubble, it's not going to, if it bubbles over, it's not going to go into the bottom of my uh, oven and make a big mess. So that, folks, is a rhubarb custard pie and a little quick lesson on rolling out your pastry dough. So everybody have a great day. Peace out. Talk to you again.